He stood in line for four hours in the sun. There was only like half an hour that was in the shade. And it's three massive scenes and you spend all night long memorizing every single scene. And I got the job. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna make it one day. You guys will see. So you're sitting in the, the waiting room and you're waiting to go in. And of course you see like actress after actress come out like wiping their eyes. And you're like, oh my God, they cried. There's one where I was asked to ride sexually um, my husband while screaming, I want to ride you, I want to ride you like the sexy bull you are. As soon as they say action, instead of looking at the subject, I look straight into the camera and deliver my line. Like it was a monologue. After the very first scene is done, they say, thank you, but can I, can I finish the scenes? And they're like, no, no, we saw what we need to see. Um, yeah, I never booked those jobs. <laughs> so that was weird. I didn't do it. But I remember seeing this series thinking, well, she probably did. I didn't even finish. And they were like, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. And I fucked it up and I thought about it every single day and didn't audition again for anything until like 10 years later. Okay, my first time auditioning in New York, um, it was actually for a project with James Franco. But it was my first time auditioning in New York. I am not good with like walking travel at all right so i get there and i am completely drenched in sweat like hunched over like i'm just trying to make it here on time and they're like jason you know if you want we can do this another day it's really not that big a deal and i was like really <laughs> like all this running i did and they told me that i didn't even have to do it that day it was like the greatest worst thing ever yeah. <laughs> and i walked into the room and i literally froze i just couldn't remember my lines it turned out to be a really good audition because I got the part. They really want you for this role, honey. They just think you could be a bit more thin. He's like, you put me on, you put, and now he, he couldn't quite work out whether I was doing an, a, a, a British accent and on top just messing around with him. Next day I went for a screen test and he, uh, he offered me the job in the room. So I actually brought like uh, about three suitcases with me to the um, audition because I didn't want to be late and I had to be out of my apartment at a certain time. The character, the daughter is very angry with her father and in the scene she tries to hit him. One of my first auditions once I moved to Los Angeles was for Troy and everybody that was signed on was sort of already an A-list actor. And I didn't quite um, have control over my body and I uh, got aggressive with the casting director and uh, tackled her. For whatever reason, I'd still had my ex-girlfriend's panties from high school and I wore her thong to my audition just so I had a secret and something to smile about. She fell out, out of her chair and nearly out a window. I was once on the way to an audition and I was running late. I realized that I really had to go to the bathroom and I knew that I would not have time to stop and go to the bathroom and get to my audition on time. So I was driving in my car and I was like frantically looking around and I saw that there was a water bottle in the front of the car and I was like, okay, you can do this. You know, the day, the day I was auditioning for Y Tu Mama Tambien, I was, um, I was driving the, the night before and I had a car accident and, uh, and I went to the doctor and I couldn't move my neck and I had like, you know, this thing that, that keeps you like this and I, I arrived to my audition like that without knowing the lines, still in painkillers. So I grab the water bottle, I open the water bottle, and I uh, start using the restroom into the water bottle while I'm driving like on the freeway and trying to get to this audition in the valley. The water bottle starts to get a little too full and I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I don't have another one of these, like, ah! So then I was like, it's okay, you can just dump this out and then like continue on and all the thing. And I did the worst audition ever. Alfonso has said, like, I've never seen something worse. <laughs> like, it's that bad. And he went to see, a, like, another hundred actors or something like that. I managed to spill a little bit, uh, and then I got to my audition, and I made sure I, like, washed myself as good as I could in the sink. And I was like, I know I still smell like pee. This is the worst. Like, this, it, this is an audition couldn't go any worse. Um, I did not, in fact, get the job. He called me back months later, but I was this close not to do the film that changed my life in some, so many ways.